Hi, I'm Mini Tyro. I'm driver of the number 81's late model stock car in the car store, and you're watching Race Face TV. I'm Brittany Lung, and I would like to welcome you to this episode of Race Face Spotlight. Today we are going out east to Manassas, Virginia, where we find young 14-year-old Cars Tour driver, Minnie Tyrell. Minnie, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing just fine. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. You're currently driving in one of the most competitive racing series in the country, the East Coast Cars Tour. You've had five top 10 finishes this year in nine starts. You are currently fifth in points. So how would you say your rookie year is going so far? I think it's going fantastic. You know, the, my whole race team and everybody who comes and supports me has put in so much work uh, and, and helping me throughout the season and uh, just improving every single race and getting better, taking more notes, uh, driving more races. Um, this year, I'm getting a ton of experience racing, obviously, like you said, the best of the best racing competition. And uh, it's been great. So fifth of the points is, I would say it's pretty good. <laughs> Awesome. Why do you think people that really know racing feel that the Cars Tour is one of the best, if not the best, development series for young drivers? Well, first of all, like you said, the competition is so strict. Uh, this past weekend at Hickory Motor Speedway, uh, we qualified all uh, within maybe a tenth of a second was putting me from 17th to 3rd. So it's very strict in the times and also 20 plus cars, 25. I believe the lowest car count we've had all season has been 25 cars. Uh, so with the car count and the competition, uh, people feel that when you come to the car store, you're competing with some of the best drivers of the East Coast. There are two races left in the schedule, one at Orange County Speedway, and then the last race of the year at South Boston Speedway. What is your strategy going into these races? I think if we just, you know, keep keep our nose clean and I think we'll be okay. You know, obviously I would like to qualify up front and run up front and hopefully pick up a you know, top five, top three, that'd be awesome. Um, but you know, as long as we finish, as long as we get that experience, uh, uh, we'll be okay. And hopefully we'll be able to take the rookie of the year title. You just came off the Cars Tour Throwback 276 at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday. You ran the number 24 Jeff Gordon paint scheme, but I understand that there's much more to that paint scheme than most people know about. Can you tell us a little bit about your personal relationship with Jeff Gordon? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I've known Jeff for almost half of my life. I met him when I went to Martinsville at the age of eight, and he had, he had saw on NBC Nightly News that I had raised $7,000 for children with pediatric cancer, and he wanted to match the $7,000 that I had raised. So I went to Martinsville to meet him, and we just kind of took off from there. Um, and I've done a lot of charity work, raising almost a, a half a million dollars for pediatric cancer. Uh, with the Jeff Gordon Children's Foundation. And so we wanted to throw it back to him. Uh, I think it was very special. And we wanted to throw it back to the car that dominated the 90s in the NASCAR Cup Series, um, which won three championships in over 40 races. You mentioned that you've raised over $500,000, which is amazing. Why is it so important to you to give back to young kids that way? Uh, you know, I just think, uh, doing good in this world. Um, you know, there's other people that are in need. I'm very lucky that I get to wake up every morning and, and go live a normal life as a 14 year old kid and, you know, go race cars. And well, some kids, you know, they can't. And uh, I feel like, you know, everybody should give back to one another and help each other. Um, and it also it makes you feel really good. And I feel if you do a good deed, good things will come back to you. So I like helping other kids and hopefully it'll help me along. <laughs> Minnie, tell us a couple of things that most people wouldn't know about you. Oh, uh, well, you know, I like to, to fish, uh, I guess my friend Riley and, and me, we like to go out to a local pond and we like to fish. And 
so I've been doing that lately a lot. And I like to play ice hockey, so uh, I guess you could say those are my two other kind of hobbies. And uh, So yeah, I like to fish, you play ice hockey, and they're a lot of fun. <laughs> it's clear that you have a special relationship with your team. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, my, my guys are great. Um, I wouldn't trade them for the world. Uh, I think, you know, Dan Givens, my father, um, my crew chief, Brandon Butler, Larry, who comes with us, and Larry Graff. We have two Larrys on our team, so we call Larry one and Larry two. But uh, Larry Graff comes and he hangs out, and um, just the tremendous amount of support that comes from Larry Graff. And he runs Jeff Gordon online. If you haven't checked it out, check it out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Um, he does all kinds of Jeff Gordon memorabilia posts and things like that. And then uh, Larry, who has been my dad's parents' neighbor for a very long time and then uh, has come to the racetrack and uh, helped us with our tires. And they're all fantastic. Um, Dan is, is incredible. You know, I, I, could, I couldn't love him anymore. And, uh, of course, Brandon, he is, uh, coaches me so well and uh, really, really uh, tells me what I need to do. And uh, I couldn't ask for a better guys. Minnie, thank you for taking the time with us tonight. Is there anybody that you would like to thank? Oh uh, yeah, just the Friends of Jacklin Foundation this year for being on the car with us. Uh, we like to help a lot of kids there. And if you haven't checked them out, please go to my website. You can go to the Friends of Jacklin tab and check it all out. That'll be awesome there. And then uh, Castro Edge, Motor Oil, Weber Rector, Cosmos Audio for helping us one race this year. Um, and all of my uh, crew and sponsors that come and support me every race. Well, there you have it. What an amazing young man. To learn more about Minnie, check him out at minityrell.com. Follow him on social media. Don't forget, if you want to catch up on any of the Race Face Spotlight shows, you can do so at raceface.tv on demand. Until next time, I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.